Now, this is the first lesson in this course, Basics of Electricity, and this lesson is based on electric charges. Now, when we talk about electric charges, the very first thing which comes to our mind is, do electric charges really exist? Because we have never seen any electric charges, right? So, but we have seen the effects of electric charges. So, let's start with a very, very simple experiment. I have few mustard seeds here. So you can see in this paper, I have some mustard seeds, which is spread over that. And then I'm going to use a plastic straw. So this is a non-conducting material. Now, when you rub this material with another non-conducting material, so I'm going to use a paper and a straw. So when you rub these two materials together, now what happens? Now let's observe this. All you need to do is just to rub this straw with the paper. Yeah. So when you rub it like this, you can take the straw close to the seeds and then observe what happens here. Now you can see that these seeds stick to the straw. Okay. So how does this happen? This is what we said. We are looking at the effects of electric charges. So these electric charges which are, which are present on the straw is attracting those seeds here. Now, how does this attract? That's another question. So let's look at another experiment here. Now in this experiment, so I have this plastic straw here, so which I just rubbed it with that paper. I'm going to repeat that process with another straw. So I'm going to repeat this. I'm just rubbing it with the paper. So what will happen is, I will get the same type of charge in both the straws, right? So whatever type of charge, say for example, I don't know what type of charge is there on the straw. So let's assume that there is some particular type, either positive or negative. So when I do the same process, when I repeat it, I'm going to get the same type of charge on this straw as well. And when I bring these two straws close to each other, you can see what happens. So they ripple. So you can see this, yes, exactly. So you can see the distance between those two straws. They perfectly ripple each other. So this is what we say light charges ripple each other. So you have similar type of charge on both these straws and therefore they ripple. You can also do one more thing. I can show my fingers here, you can see here. See, I'm just showing my finger close to the straw and you can see what happens here. So here you can see that it gets attracted to my fingers. Now there is a question, am I charged? Now you need to understand that when you rub, what happens in this process of rubbing? And why does it get attracted to my fingers? And how does this straw, that is the charges present on the straw, attract those seeds? Well, these are all few questions which we need to answer. 